All right, guys, we're trying something a little bit different here. As you can see, I'm not in my garage. I'm actually in my truck. Um, today, we are at Trip to the Pond, and I'm going to bring you guys along with me. I'm going to be wearing a camera most of the time, so you guys can see kind of what goes into filming these events and behind-the-scenes kind of stuff. I don't know. This is going to be my first time trying it, so let's see if it goes good. That's pretty much it. There's not a whole lot to say. It's Trip to the Pond with the friends Team Baldhead and Team Drift Things, the Coke Brothers. It's a mid-pond. If you haven't been here, it's a cool little track. If you have been here, then you know what it's about. You get the vibes of the place. This video is just to show you guys kind of what goes into these events on my side and I feel like a lot of people don't see it from this side very often. So I'm going to try that here on YouTube filming the behind the scenes of these events from the media side just in case you guys are interested in that. So that's pretty much it. Let's uh, let's get into it. Alright, let's get into this. So I'm doing a voiceover for this video because I didn't talk a whole lot. Also, realizing GoPro kind of sucks and didn't record audio for a lot of these clips. So blah blah blah. Here we are recording videos of the ducks, obviously. You gotta get those if you're at mid pond. It's the ducks. Their whole thing is the ducks, it seems like. Also, as you can see, GoPro sucks and overexposed <laughs> almost all this footage, so just bear with me for this first video. It's uh, I guess I'm still learning GoPros because they're more difficult than I thought. Here we are just shooting some around the pit clips. Got to get those for the um, you know the edits. I learned that edits look good with people in them, not just the cars. A lot of people like the people aspects, or I like the people aspect of the videos getting the friends and all that kind of stuff. Hey! I wouldn't exactly say these are the best shots, but they're the shots that I have good GoPro footage of, so good or decent GoPro footage of that aren't, isn't too blown out. And I'm right now I'm actually doing a bunch of research on dynamic range and that kind of stuff and probably going to start shooting my good footage in log or or my camera can't do log exactly the best so it's called Cine 4 instead but that's too much technical data that y'all don't, don't care about and I'm learning that GoPro doesn't have any kind of dynamic range because I can't even fix I can't even fix the blown out footage even a little bit which I could which I can do on my regular camera so kind of sucks this shot I liked a lot um, I don't even remember if I used it, but I saw it on Instagram or something, and I was like, I'm gonna try that. And I think it did pretty good. Hey! And then here, I did a track walk, but, um... It's all blown out. I did, I did a track walk, but like looking at media areas because it had rained the day before or whatever. So I was checking to see how muddy everything was and well, it was all mud. So basically this is me fast forwarding through this and just saying, this is mud, this place is mud. Oh, it's, it's all mud. So I'm gonna be standing in mud all day. This is gonna be fun. Um, I fast forwarded through it cause there's, I did talk all the way through it, but GoPro didn't record audio, so it's junk. That's why I'm doing this voiceover. And it's all blown out, so I'm still learning GoPro. I put ISO on auto, thinking it would automatically expose properly, but nope, it doesn't do that. It looks terrible, and also no audio, so cool. Thanks, GoPro. I appreciate it. Not sure how to fix that. I thought I had it fixed, but here I am giving Austin his giveaway panel because he said he was gonna be there, so I was like, I'll just give it to you there instead of shipping it to you. He liked it. I was happy that he won it. Austin's a really nice dude. Hey! And now we have switched to the gimbal, the fun part, kind of fun part. I used, I think I used gimbal like the whole time I was here. I don't think I did any sort of tripod stuff a lot of this video is going to be mainly shots of cars in the pits because my GoPro was not set at a very good angle to show cars going around the track, so it's one blown out, two out of frame, 
three, no audio. I'm just salvaging what I can here. Here I am, as you can't really see the GoPro footage, but I am getting shots of Ryan's car. It's really nice. This is one of my favorite builds. It's so cool. It's so simple and clean. Shots of the Front Street guys, Front Street Tom, I think his name is, I could be wrong. It's Front Street Tom and Front Street some, some, something else, I can't remember right now. Moving on to shots of Sean. And Andrew thought that, that was really a really good shot. He's like, I saw that. I saw that and I was like, yeah, it was all right. okay, it wasn't that good. Hey! And then my camera does this floppy thing, which, or my gimbal does this floppy thing, which is really annoying. And it takes me forever to figure out how to unflop it. Yep, Let's see. I don't understand why it does that. All right, moving on to gimbal on a stick. Uh, I really only did this later part of the day. As you can see why I did it, because you can get really close to the cars, but I was like, man, these cars are really taking up the whole frame. I don't understand why. I realized my gimbal or my lens was still on 50 millimeters instead of 18 millimeters or whatever the lowest setting is. I think it's 18. And as you can see here, my monitor cable was messing up and wasn't showing through the monitor, so I just had to unplug it. Yeah, we're still on 50 mil. I was like, why are they taking up so much of the screen? I was dumb. I wasn't even thinking about my lens right now. And then I finally fix it right after this, and it looks way better. I can get all the car in, in this frame and that was the shot I was looking for, and thankfully I got it. Moving on to the next spot, this is the little kink in the middle straightaway or whatever you want to call it. As you can see, this is why I put the gimbal on the stick because I can get the camera this close to the car without actually being that close. Is it a little bit dangerous? Eh, kinda, but uh, How it's worth it. How's the car? Yeah, Say what's up to the homies. That'll be it for the on-track footage because that's really all I can salvage because it's later in the day and the sun was going down so the exposure was okay. Taking off the ND filter so I can get this shot right here. It's a little flat out, straight out of the camera but after I colorized it a little bit it looked a lot better. exposure settings because it is getting dark getting inside of cars too so it's extra dark Ram, I'm just always in your way kind of throughout the day I pick or see who I've gotten the best footage of and then I guess at the end of the day go and get shots of their cars in the pits so I can put a reel together.
trying to get shots of the seats through the mirror. It would be cool if I can brighten it up a little bit, but no, oh, okay, there we go right there. But to get the good shot, my camera is in the mirror and I didn't focus to the seats properly and I was trying to try it again. shots of Ryan's car because I got some good clips of him so I'm gonna make it real. Shots around the pits so I'm gonna let you guys enjoy the sounds of the cars and people talking and the sounds of a racetrack.
raining about midnight and it's gonna rain all the way till probably about midnight tonight so really no point in me staying for day two I imagine a lot of these people are gonna leave because of the rain so I hope you guys enjoy this type of video I'll have another one coming out soon I'm not exactly sure when for the polecat invitational let me know if you guys like this as always put in the comments what you guys want to see on the channel thanks for watching thanks for subscribing hit that like button and we'll see you at polecat